Well, if I were able to talk to my mom, I would ask her, how come you didn't try your best to stay here with us? And if I was able to talk to my dad, I would ask him, why did you leave me? Why didn't you want to see me? I lost my dad at three years old. I never really knew him. Um, I used to hear great things about him. Um, my mother was, she was, she was a drug addict and uh, she was in and out of my life. Never anything really consistent. And um, at this time, point currently, I feel like I've, I've lost her. Even though she's still living, I still feel like I've lost her. A young man growing up, yeah, they need a father. But sometimes people have father in their homes and they still not a father. They just occupying space. <laughs> They just keeping up confusion. They just doing their own thing, and they're not saying to that son or that daughter, "I love you." Or to that son, oh, "Let's go get a haircut. Let's go fishing." So life is hard. Thirteen years old, you you got a, a a football game. Your first high school football game at that. You look up in the crowd, your daddy not there. That's like, I wouldn't say it was a, a, I needed him there, but I wanted him there. And then decisions when I knew I was doing wrong, but I just had nobody to get on me and tell me like, you ain't got no business doing this. I wish my daddy was there to do that for me. It took me a long time to understand my mom was not, you know, I don't, I don't think she was mentally stable enough to understand the pain. And my father, he just wasn't around because I guess she pushed him away from me. So I don't blame them. At the end of the day, it's my life and I want to have peace. So it's no need to ask them questions like why they didn't do this, why they didn't do that. It's just I accept it. I still love them a lot and I'm just going to move on with my life. Um... I wish I had my parents in my life when I had my first girlfriend or my first fight or, um, you know, maybe even just my first trip, like first, you know, experience in the outside world. Maybe them being around me at that time would have made me enjoy it and, and learn how to be happy without fighting it so much. When a mother and a father abandon you, it leaves an empty hole in your heart. It leaves you with no direction and, you know, nowhere to go, you know. Uh, you feel lost, you feel left out, you feel empty. You feel uh, like no one cares about you because, right. you know, your mother, your father abandoned you. Where I grew up at, everyone is missing a dad. And then people wonder why there are kids out here running the streets, they become thugs, they become drug dealers. They have no role model, they have no one to set them, they have no one to guide them. That was the norm, you know, I mean, whether you American or whether you from the island, you know, people from the islands used to send their kids back home for the grandparents to take care of, grandparents here. You know, parents wanted to, to live and have fun. They wanted kids, but they wasn't ready to be a parent. When I love, I love hard because I want that family oriented thing. Um, again, I come with baggage and my baggage is more in my heart. There's still a spot there that has not been fulfilled. And it's a little bit complicated to fulfill when I'm a man. I got a really great job. I get to encourage and inspire kids to be not only great um, dancers, um, which I've had a great opportunity to do that for so many years, but great people. Um, I think, you know, just inspiring people and giving people um, direction and, and, and motivation is, is a really, really good gift of mine. And um, God bless me with that ability. A young man who don't have their father in their life is, they have to lean on their first father, and that's God, God Almighty, because he's the one that said he would never leave you nor forsake you.